over the past couple months or so, I'm not sure exactly what the timeline is, um, but you may have seen this tree in the background of my videos on this workbench in various states of progression uh, as it's been worked on slowly, kind of in the background. It's another spoon's eye, bonsai, metal bonsai tree. Uh, but this one is actually being made by Clint, not me. Well, me too, but it's fully designed uh, by Clint. Um, but he's, he's not a welder, not that I am, but he doesn't know how to weld, so I thought I would give him a hand so we could finish it up. And so that's what part of this video is about finishing up the spoon's eye, metal bonsai tree, and some other stuff. That's sick looking. Yeah? Holy oh, crap. Yeah. Wow. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, I love it. I extended it a little bit because... No, oh, it's cool. It's, it's, uh, it's got a cool, gnarly kind of a look to it, which I really like. Yeah, so you were on the right track. And yeah, then, it's just, I, I gotta get my welding skills better. No, it, I don't it, think so. It, it would not have looked like that, I don't think. I would have if you would have just known. I, I love, like, how to do these little veins? Just with the, oh, actually, I ran out of wire on this one, on the big one. Yeah, so, so you went now, back to now the down one. to the gasless, which, what a difference. But, uh, yeah, you just, so okay. what you were doing is you were just joining Fill everything. Filling in. Yeah, and filling cracks, and then I just filled the rest of them, and I did this. This took me like 10 hours. I like this. It took you like 10 hours to get it this far? Yeah. Okay. So, it's just, when you don't see progress right away, it might seem like Sick. you're doing it wrong, but you're not. So I got No, I like how it's kind of gnarly like that. That's cool. It. That's a, here. It's gonna be a sick tree. Yeah, I got some that goes into the wood. Right. Yeah, so now all we just need is Leaves, clean it up a little bit, and then leaves. Very cool. Got sick of looking at it. <laughs> All right, so Clint just got here. You got the wire? Got the wire. Sweet. I got the tree we brought it out here in the rain to rust her up so it'll look pretty Got our puddle going on. yeah someone told me it it irritates them that i don't do anything about it oh <laughs> so much we care <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay so this tree clint has been working on ugh, off and on over the last couple months. couple months. And then I took a little Josh made liberties. It look like a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I took some liberties to uh, finish her up, except for the leaves. Now, Clint is going to take a bunch of these spoons and. Uh, Oh, okay, it's it gets stuck right here somewhere. At the field. It's probably, you know what? I wonder if the tip. I wonder if there you go. Okay, so it's this stupid thing. It up. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least it's coming through, and uh, we know why. We'll just put a new tip on it. Oh, you know what? This is for twenty-five, I think. And this is 35. 30. Uh, 30, this one was. Or 30, okay. Yeah, yeah you have to like switch the bearing mm -hmm. around, which mm -hmm. I already did. 
Uh, but yeah, that's yeah, cause, yeah, just wrong size. Okay, that'll fit. That'll do, donkey. Well, that's the wrong tip, so it sticks out a lot. But we're not welders. We're not welders. Well, I don't know. It'll be fine. Okay. Clint's got all the leaves made here. Time to make some sparks. Clint's got to put on some coveralls. Fair enough. Because he's got naked legs. Fair enough nicks and burns and... Don't need to add to the collection? Nope. There you go. Okay, so this is a little wet. So we're going to go... From the highest to the lowest so that we get the least amount of spatter on our leaves. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there sense. still be some? Which one's the way? Uh, you can use any of those. I don't need any. Don't need any? Is it probably harder with them? Or yeah. I, yeah, I would just hold it with bare hand. Yeah, I mean, but you've already had cancer twice. Why, <laughs> why would you want it a third time? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so over my limit. What did you get hot in your hand? Your uh am I too close or something? Your uh you, like you closed the hole, yeah. You can't touch. It's kind of, it's kind of, you probably have to cut it off. Nah, yeah, you got to cut it off. Cut what off? You have to cut the tip off. Oh, really? Yeah, because you closed it in. You so, yeah, you're just going way too close. Oh, uh, okay. You just cut it off with a grinder, but you might be able to do this. No. Sometimes you can do that. Yeah, just cut it off with a grinder there. Yeah. this to this okay that's it like that you're not it's not like you're doing something that you Just might not get the wire out more and yeah. do it with the wire yeah you want to keep it a certain distance away but sometimes it's hard to do that especially with those clunky gloves so due to our lack of experience i'll say we kept having this same issue come up during this little uh welding session i'm just trying to show clint how to basically glue with metal here which i've done hundreds of times before with no issue but i think with a combination with the lack of experience and perhaps the wrong welding tip on the uh the gun or whatever it's called we kept having the same issue where when the tip touched the workpiece, it, it melted closed and then bound up the wire. It actually kinked the wire right before it feeds into the, uh, the hose, if you will. And uh, when that happened, we'd have to stop, pull the wire out, cut the wire, then refeed it in and put in a new tip. Eventually, I got smart and I cut the tip really short so it wouldn't protrude out so far and therefore have a, a lot less chance of uh, melting closed again. It was very frustrating, but we eventually figured it out. But it did happen a few more times. It's... It's... There's a there's a principle or a or a rule of life. I forget what it's called. Occam's razor, Bernoulli's principle. One of those things where 
Something that can go wrong will go wrong. What is that? Schrodinger's cat or whatever? <laughs> I forget what it's called. It's one of those things that everyone knows, but perhaps the person's last name is too complicated to keep inside the memory bank. In any case, the point is, we kept having trouble with this thing, but we eventually figured it out and then had no more trouble. Murphy's Law. It's called Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And sometimes uh, people will also say, and at the most unopportune moment. I'm not sure if that's part of the original law or not. I barely remembered what it was called. What the heck else did I say? The golden rule or whatever? <laughs> anyway, we figured it out and we just had other problems uh, from there, which was fine. We were able to continue. And here we had to unkink it again. <laughs> Okay, so, what do you think? I think it's good. Yeah? No. This does look freaking dumb now. That's a little weird. We need a little more. We need a little more. What do you think, Henry? Mm -hmm. good. What do you think, Ava? What do you think of this, Ash? Yeah. yeah, it needs lots more, right? Because yeah. we only got a little bit here, we got a little bit here. He could only buy 50. Oh. 50 is all I could find. Wait a minute. Okay, we can use these ones. Okay. I think these ones were leftovers from the last one that I did. I cut mine by hand and Clint. Clint's cutting his with a saw. And just to save some time, I decided to weld on the leaves because I can do it a little bit faster while he was cutting up because believe it or not, these take a very long time to make. They look simple but they're time consuming. Okay, that's looking a lot better. At least on the bottom half here. Should probably, I don't know, I feel like if we look back, do you think there should be something here maybe? It kind of almost looks like there could be. Yeah, maybe I'll have another branch come down here. Yeah, maybe that'll fill that spot up a bit better. Yeah, like, even if I just use like a rusty bolt like this. Not something that thick. Not that thick for you? What do you think, maybe this? Yeah. A little thinner? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's try that, you wanna try welding that? It's different than welding this light stuff. Might have an easier time. Yeah. yeah. I think it needed. Just something there, and then we'll maybe maybe we'll put some leaves here, and some there, and then some right here. Sure. There we go. Let's put in a a branch maybe right here. Straight out of Compton, crazy mother named Ice Cube. From the gang called Fellers with Attitudes. When I'm called off, I gotta sold off. Squeeze the trigger and bodies are hold off. You too, boy, if you f with me. The police are gonna have to come and get me off your ass. That's how I'm going out. For the pump mother is going out. Okay, I think that was the last spoon. We definitely need more. Yeah. I mean, it's looking good though. I like it this. Looking nice, yeah. It's looking a little more full. That's such a crazy gnarly tree. I love it. So, guys, Miles, not Air Clicks Miles, but Clint's son Miles, his birthday is tomorrow, and we're trying to finish this uh, so that you can gift it to him tomorrow. But, well, I think it's his birthday tomorrow, but we're not going to his place till Wednesday. 
So we actually have tomorrow. Oh, we have some time. We could pick up. I could find more spoons tomorrow, and I can. We could do this after. Okay, after afterwards. Work tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you coming here for work, or? Uh, I'm at my other project, but I'll come here after work, though. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll see if I can. Well, pick we'll up get work. it. We'll get it. What day is it today? Tuesday or no Monday today? <laughs> okay. So we got Tuesday. So Wednesday. Okay. Okay. Well, since Clint was going to be on site working on one of his jobs, I figured I would do the same. I spent the morning working over on my friend Jarrett's basement project, which I started in another vlog. You guys might remember my friend Jarrett. <laughs> Those ones, uh, maybe if it's wood, we can burn it. Yeah, that's wood. So yeah, they since, both wood? So, yeah. So, so yeah, they're wood. So we can throw them in the that's burn hot. pit. Yeah. Good. How are you? Good. There we go. Trying to make some arrangements in here so we can make our chill spot. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hey, Allie. So I was thinking that we could put a couch here somewhere or whatever, or just a couple chairs, right? Cool. Put our cigar ashtray here. Yeah. Not, not that I smoke, but. <laughs> so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take this and this out since we've never used it the whole time that we've been here. Right. They'll still be around, but yeah. no need to have them up. There. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that's spoons? Yeah. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, she bought brand new ones. West End, about 25 for three. Okay. So that's not too bad. Got 60 of them. Wait, 25 what? Uh, buck 25 for three of them. Buck 20, okay. Got oh! Dude, I forgot I had this. I got spoons in here too. No way. <laughs> oh. Are you kidding me? But I, since I put it over here, I totally forgot. We could have totally used these yesterday. Yeah, someone just gave me these the other day. So, if we, uh, for Joshua Alexander Keys, oh yeah. Hi Josh, I hope you can use all this stuff. If not, let me know and I can pick up and dispose of it. Don't feel obligated. No, these are keys. There actually might not even be spoons in here. Those are crazy keys. Yeah. What are those for? Uh, I don't know. She she said that she manages some sort of building, and they were getting new keys. Um, I feel like you should do a bonsai tree with keys. Yeah. There's a lot of them there. Are you gonna be spoons? There? No, there is no spoons. Okay, so I I guess there was no harm in not realizing that. What do you think? Is that cool or what? Really cool. Yeah. You think your brother will like it? All right, now to make some sparks. It's a man's world. We do another tree with these, hey? Eh? At some point. With the handles? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a different shape of leaf. Yeah, for a different kind of a tree or something. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, they're worth saving for something. Yeah. Are you trying to weld? Do you want to weld, Ellie? <laughs> I see those whole honey. <laughs> yeah. Cause men uh, make them toys. Uh, yeah. Oh, no ground. <laughs> this is a man's world. This is a man's world.
See you, Elena. Man with the cops. Yeah. To take us over the road. Man with the train. To carry the heavy load. Man with the electric line. To take us out of the dark. Okay. Hold this down. What do you think? Maybe it's more meat. No. That's pretty sweet. I think it's good. Are you sure you don't want to weld one? <laughs> Dang. I think maybe one right there. Make them toys. Yeah, that's looking good. I need to see what it looks like up against a, a background. Yeah, I like that swoopiness. That's a good... Uh, Can you do some on this guy? That was a good idea. Some bark? Oh, some bark on the smoothness? Yeah. Okay. Yesterday I was so careful about not burning off uh, the clear coat you put on there. Yeah. And, uh, which I mean, I guess I was premature putting it on there, but wanted to protect the rust. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. everything's an experiment. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, this should be ready for clear coat. Last night I gave it a bit of a, a bath so that it would uh, get rusty in all the parts that were de-rusted during the process of welding on all the, the leaves. And now this morning, since we are out of our rain spell, it's nice and dry ready for this clear coat. I want to do this now because Clint's not going to have time for it to uh, for it to off gas before he gives it to Miles. I don't want it to stink when he gives it to him because that's a little unpleasant. But if I do it now this morning there will be plenty of time for it to off gas. I'm going to put few coats on it. I think that's good enough for coat number one. That's looking good. Nice and shiny. Yeah, this is a good looking tree. Good design, Clint. Um, but while it's drying, uh, I think I'm going to get back on the welder and fix this. It's been off the mower for like two weeks. We just had so much rain and we didn't have any wire. Uh, but now that we finally do, I can put this, this is where uh, the blade goes, spins on there, and this goes right here normally, something like, something like that, and then our, our belts go around that. Uh, but what happened was, <laughs> we've gotten a lot of rain, so our grass has grown tall uh, quite a bit and it's covered up some of the stumps that are left behind the uh, power company cutting down some trees under under the power line and uh, since I didn't see the stump didn't think about it and my mower deck is a bit rusty because as you can see the the paint has worn away and like look at this it's hard to clean this stuff out so all this dirt and leaves and mulchy type material sits on the paintless deck and since it holds a lot of moisture it rusts and when it rusts it gets weak and when it gets weak and you hit a stump with the blade down here and you just goes and it 
rips the steel because it's weak. So now we have to fix that. And so this is the other thing this video is about that I mentioned at the beginning. And this is where our trouble commences. We figured out the welding issues that we had during the bonsai tree. But for the mower deck itself, we had a few more issues. This was not as simple as I thought it was going to be. Don't want that to set on fire. And I don't want to leave it in there because it's much easier to clean it out with the deck not installed. Opens his mouth, but the words won't come out, and he's choking now. Everybody's choking now, and the clock's run out. Time. Okay, up. let's let's not burn it down. <laughs> Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes rabbit. He's choked. He's so mad that he won't give up. That he's in no. He won't have it, he knows his hope backs to the throat. It don't matter, he's stoked. He knows that he's broke, he's stagnant. He knows when he goes back to his mobile home. It's back to the lab again. This oh, soul raps, better go capture this moment and hope it don't pass. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you want it. Better never let it go. Only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity. Come once in a life. All right, so far it's going well. I got all this cleaned up pretty good, welded back together, but I still have these giant holes. I need them to be this size, you know, and circular, but to know where they go, especially here where I have no reference left, I need to take the, the spinny housing, whatever you want to call it, where the blade goes, and place these in my existing reference holes and then build around that. The only problem is, is that I accidentally sheared off the one remaining bolt that was inside the hole. That was right here. So what I've done is I've welded on a new cranker, if you will, and I'm gonna see if I can pull it out. Uh, the only thing is, is that I don't know if it's reverse thread or not. All the other bolts are missing. I don't know where they are, somewhere in the grass when, when this got yoinked out. So let's see, I'm gonna go regular thread. Hopefully I welded it on close enough. It's turning, but I feel like it's just shearing. I had, ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, it just sheared off. You can see I barely have anything left to weld onto. Um, I, I basically welded on top of that up and then welded a nut on top of that. And if you can see, I've done it a couple times here, three times with these smaller ones, one time with this big old guy. But I accidentally, you can see there's some uh, galvanized in there. I, or I don't know exactly what it was, but it, it just like lit up and melted. And so that could be why this didn't work well. Although that sheared off pretty clean. Ah, this should be easy, but of course it's not. <laughs> Let's try again. And so this is where the problem started 
with this part. We have a stuck bolt that I just could not plug weld up into a new like post, if you will, so that I could get it out. It just was not working. Probably because I'm doing it wrong, but in any case, I couldn't do it. And so, I had to think of some other ideas. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I could drill it out and re-tap the hole. <sighs> Here? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I'm frustrated. I'm trying to fix my lawnmower, but I sheared a bolt off in the in the the blade spinny housing thing. Oh. Yeah. So I can't drill it out because the bolt is too hard for the drill bits that I have. I have tried that and I am trying that again. And it's too hard to steel to drill out. Yeah. For anything that you have. Yeah. But I thought all the welding here would have annealed it, but it's it doesn't seem to be soft enough. But I also don't know if it's How about a torch? Mm -hmm. Well this is aluminum, so that'll just melt this. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll melt it. So aluminum and you have and you can't get it out. Yeah. That's, uh, oh, well, yeah, see, like, I can't weld anything to it. The, I think the aluminum is interfering with it, maybe. I don't know, because it's, it's in. Hmm. I wonder if three points is enough. I mean, there's a lot of torque. Right. And if I'm going to be, uh, cutting down trees with it. I don't know what bolts they are. So, I might have to do three bolts with nuts. Locking nuts, maybe? Right. Because they're gonna undo, I bet, with the vibration and stuff. Which is probably why this is threaded. I would think if you got the right bolt for a um, drill bit, drill bit, that you should be able to drill that out. Yeah. I don't know if I have any. Do you have any that are good for steel? But. I mean, it's barely working. I need a little bit of oil for uh, lube. Work my hands with my torch here or something. Dude, that thing is cool. Oh, that's cool, yeah. It's quite old. There we go, now it's cutting. So initially, I had tried to drill this out, and it was too hard, but once I had a little oil, it was somewhat easy. Oh, it's through. Oh, it's through? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I only put one coat on the bonsai tree. Are we fine? Okay, I, I usually put like three or four. I was yeah. gonna do that in between doing this because I thought this would be simple, but then this happened. Right. And I've been working on just this for like an hour and a half. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, because I just, I kept welding stuff to it and all that. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's hot now. Now you got it out. All right. Just if you don't mind putting that back when you're done with it. Those are family heirlooms. Yes. Isn't this thing cool, guys? They are cool. Family heirloom, apparently. Well, I don't, it's older than my father-in-law. I'm thinking it was his dad's, probably. This was your dad's dad's. Or your father-in-law's oh, dad's. Yeah. Your grandpa-in-law. Like, those are from... I think they kind of used those early 1900s, I think. But yeah, I got a few of them here. They're pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. That uh, reminds me of uh, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz? Yeah, doesn't he get oiled with one of those? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe he gets oiled with the one, the thumb ones. Oh, oil my arms, please. Oil my elbows. Oh, oh. Oh. 
It's looking pretty good, right? Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. All right. See ya. See ya. Let me know what he says. All right. Well, one thing crossed off the list, I guess. Second thing to be crossed off the list is pretty frustrating, but I think I think we'll be fine now. I think we'll be fine. I'm not going to be able to use the threads inside here, but I can still in these. I just have to figure out what the thread is. Okay. These are probably too big. And these are probably too small. That looks good. Thank you. All right, let's test this real quick. Yeah, that's obviously too small. And that means that this is way too big because this is just a little bit too small. Now, if I went with a through bolt idea, I could do that. Uh, I could do a lock washer and a lock nut, potentially. But I feel like with the vibration, it'll just work its way out and then I'll have the same issue uh, with just a different recipe. It'll, this won't be broken, but it'll still be like, vibrating around and I'll be like, what the heck's going on? All right, well, I'll figure it out. Put this back in my very organized storage. Parfait. Parfaits are delicious. Perfect. Okay, so that will go into there. Um, this is our little mechanism and we got some feeler bolts so that we can find our position. But of course we just have the one true hole and then we have an estimation of these two holes and then this one is somewhere in this area. So what I plan to do for structural stability and for alignment is I'm gonna use some washers. Now this one doesn't need one except for as a spacer because I want it to be the same height as best as I can do because it might be critical. Now if I put this back in there, I can now tack these into place once I figure out what that is. So I'm gonna put this pulley back on. Uh, I don't know, because this has some micro movement, well, even macro movement really, depending on how precise you want to be. Uh, I want to make sure that nothing interferes with each other and that our belt doesn't uh, stay slack. So I'm just going to do some tinkering before I put in my first tack. It seems that things might be looking up, which is good because I need this lawnmower to to uh, work so that I can mow the lawn for the garden vlog video that actually came out before this. <laughs> All right, it's not the prettiest, but she's together and pretty solid. So I welded that hole closed just by adding a bunch of weld filler and same with here, just psh, 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 until it till it filled up and it's pretty solid also on the inside which I don't know how well you could see that but it it is it's gonna be good I think and they're relatively in the right spot the only thing that I worry about is if if all three blades have to be at the same height for it to not like wobble and vibrate too much it already vibrates a lot, which is probably compensated somewhere in the mechanism here, just because the machine itself causes a lot of vibration. I'm hoping I'm not throwing off some sort of calibration that's intentionally set with whatever the design is. I'm thinking we'll probably be fine, but uh, I'm not certain. But anyway, those should fit nicely in. 
the four bolts. They come in from the underside. This one, of course, is going to have a through bolt because uh, our whole we, we've taken out the the threads. Um, I guess I could have retapped it, but we'll see how she goes. Um, yeah. Coming outside, Ava. Just chilling on the cool bathroom floor. Okay, so yesterday. Getting that blade spinner thing back on the deck was such a pain until Dakota showed up and then it went relatively easy. Just there were some moving parts and what have you and it kept getting frustrating. But anyway, we got it on. But then I lost one of the nuts at some point and I could not find it. I was looking and looking and looking and I, I had no idea where it was. I even went back and reviewed the footage uh, to see if maybe I happened to film where it went. And I gave up, essentially. I gave up and I went inside to, uh, to take a shower and I was going to start anew today. I lost the one nut, so I gave up, because I've been looking everywhere for it. I see that I placed the nut down here. I smack that pulley off, it hits it, then it hits the glove, which was under the mask, and it has never been seen again. <laughs> God, that's so frustrating. Okay, I'm going to go check because this is going to bug me forever if I don't. I cleaned it off all over just looking for it. Of course, they're still a mess. I just threw these gloves to the side. Oh my gosh, there it is. There it is. You guys, I had, I was so frustrated. You have no idea how long I've been looking for it. For a long time I thought it was this, but as you can see, it's too big. I dumped this out, I don't know how many times. This one was too small. This is what goes right here on, on this shaft. You can see I got everything connected. There's the one that was, that I ruined, and but I got all these other ones in with some thread lock and stuff. I, th I think I freaking got it. Let me push. Put that on there like that. And this goes on. Oh my goodness. I thought I was gonna have to go buy a new one. Underneath, I put on the, the blade. It's looking all good. Underneath, I mean, my welds could be be could be better, but yeah, it's all connected all the way around, so it it should it should work out. Thank goodness. Ugh. Okay, that should be nice and tight. Let's get it on the floor. My only sunshine, you make me happy, skies are gray, you'll never know dear, how much I love you, shit, I don't remember how this goes, so don't take my sunshine away, don't take it away. Yep. <laughs> I think we are good. Cheers, 
done. Voila. And I also, just in case, I put a charger on the battery. It looks like we're, we're good. It's just been sitting for a while and I didn't know if it would be draining out. All right. Let's uh, start her up. Psych. Just kidding. I did it wrong. So, um, this is what I did. Because <laughs> uh, that's how I could put the cotter pin in. But that is incorrect. This actually has to go in there like I have corrected over there. I don't know how well that translates on video. But I could not lift the deck up. And it was digging into the gravel. And I was like, what's, what's happening? So... I have to take this off, and of course that's too strong for my fingers, it seems. Oh, there we go. So I'll take this cotter pin off that I freaking broke now. This thing has been put together and taken apart a few times, so some of this hardware is is on its way out, and like nothing matches. There we go. So this needs to come out, and this needs to go over there, like that, and now this goes in. And there's also a spring that goes in here that's supposed to keep the spring loaded, but as you can see, this has been chewed up from years of vibration and oscillation and candleization. Now you're not going to go in there. There we go. Now the only thing is, is now the hole doesn't show. The hole is like right here. So I'm still doing something wrong, but I don't, I don't know what the heck it is. <laughs> ah, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Come on, get in there. The tolerances here are so small. I had to adjust this so the hook hooked up this way instead of around this way and the hole just pops out but like I okay it's all the way through now I just have to push it in somehow but I can't see anything I'm literally looking through my phone screen, which is why I'm filming. Get in there. Yes. Okay. Now, now I need to, I just don't want it to rattle out and then the pin come out. This will be annoying for when I ever have to do this again. good that should be good I just gotta do that to to the other side so this just has to move up I guess like that. I, I don't really I don't really know I really didn't expect this to be this difficult because taking it apart which I obviously did off camera was so easy I wish I paid more attention to <laughs> how it uh, was together, but of course I did not. Okay, so I do not feel the hole there at all, so I have a feeling it's underneath here. Okay, <sighs> I'll figure it out. I did not figure it out. I just thought the friction would keep it in good enough. Let's see how that goes.
walking with the Lord Here and now I feel ashamed Cause these distractions got to the core I carry weights in my wife uh, Of course this would happen This is on there uh, uh, centrifugal force inside there is still spinning and whatever. It's going down now. Okay, this belt fell off, but did it wreck it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is what's spinning. Okay. Okay, so this. Okay. Okay, this is actually not that bad as long as it's not shredded. I'm not sure how the heck that happened, but it did. Okay. Phew! I was like, dang, because like, look at all the grass I still have to mow. It's been growing forever. Look, look how deep my grass is. <laughs> uh, it's been growing forever because this has been sitting off and there's been a lot of rain so I managed to do out there and in the front slash back of the house this is the front door but this is kind of like the back of the property so I whatever the side of the house I guess is done but like I didn't do in here <laughs> at all the belt fell off but it didn't break, okay. so I should be able to put it back on. Something must not be tensioned quite right, and it could be that I didn't uh, put this on in the right spot, but it's still good. Although it doesn't, uh... oh wait, there's a blade on there, that's why I was like, it doesn't really spin freely, but it, it probably does, it's just, there's the, the blade on the bottom that's touching the long grass okay let's uh let's do it so we have continued trouble but our pin is still holding without the secondary cotter pin so that's good but here's some more trouble <laughs> okay so i got the belt back on but the uh, battery needs to be charged again uh it turns out my brother Dave had a look at this. This thing right here, I don't know what it's called, but it's it, it somehow tells the engine to charge the battery, uh, but it's broken. So I need to get a new one of those. And I had forgotten about that uh, because the deck was broken. And so I focused on getting the deck fixed when I could, which happened to be uh, yesterday and today uh, I forgot to get one of those it would have been nice to do everything all at once because it's already killed one battery this is another new one and batteries can get expensive especially if you're buying them all the time but oh well there's a there's a lot of things that are wrong with this uh, lawnmower which is to be expected from something that was used in professional landscaping um, kind of uh, a worked hard and put away wet, um, which is why the deck is uh, rusting out. In fact, and I didn't vlog about this at any point, but these welds here, these welds are new. This part of the deck fell off of this part of the deck, so I actually had to weld it back together. So I had taken it off uh, once before. I was just mowing along and then suddenly this just became super loose and i was like what the heck is going on here and it kept like uh, getting ran over partially and then it kept hitting the front wheels uh and i i didn't know what the heck happened anyway so i had welded that back back together um but overall it's still a good good machine it's just uh 
It's just old and was not cared for. But I don't care for it either. So, <laughs> as long as it stays running. If it was new, it would be a different story. But since I already knew it was a beat up piece of junk. My nephew, you guys might remember him, Dalton. He actually used to use this machine because he worked for that landscaping company. Then that landscaping company got new machines and they gave this to my neighbor. And then you might remember my neighbor gave it to me. Uh, paid a good price for it, so I cannot complain about all the things that are wrong with it because uh, it, it's relatively cheap to fix. It's just annoying because you don't know what necessarily needs to be fixed until it goes absolutely wrong. But we are capable. Um, so while that is charging, we are at two of four bars at 12.2 volts. I guess I'll just chill with Ashley on the deck. She's also chilling here with all the dogs, taking a break from washing the windows and such. These dogs are hot. It's pretty warm out today. <laughs> hot out today. It is hot out today. Look at, look at him. Just a purple tongue, it's so warm out. Okay, what was uh, Clint's son's reaction to the trade? Did he tell you? Come on. Hello. Whoa, what is this? Is this the thing that you wanted for your shop? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. We're going to need a bigger studio to fit that beautiful thing. Aw, that is so beautiful. Crazy, eh? Oh, Dad, did you make that? Josh and I. Oh, my I, gosh. I won't take credit for how nice the tree looks. <laughs> the concrete block, though. No, I did the concrete credit. block. I did the shape of the tree, like Dude. the basics of it. Oh, my gosh. And then... Uh, Can you make, like, five more of those for our yard? That is 20 hours worth of work <gasps> and a couple hundred dollars worth of materials. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, is that that's, a no, That's then? a no, yeah. <laughs> That's a, it's so good. That's, that's if, beautiful. Get the welders Happy involved. birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Coached by him, basically. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much. Dude, we need this, like, It's crazy, right here. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, it's the oh. biggest bonsai he's ever made. Really? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he spent... I had it kind of, like I said, this piece is down here and all of this. And then... I hadn't touched it in quite a while and I came back and then Josh had it all looking like this. He said it took him quite a few hours. Well, I guess I owe him a free tattoo, eh? And <laughs> <laughs> <Find> your dad. <laughs> <laughs>
I guess, I guess I, I guess I knew that was gonna happen because I couldn't put that freaking pin in. I was hoping it wouldn't happen. Okay, now where did that fall? The belt came off again because of that. I need to put something else in there. <laughs> ah! This was supposed to be simple. I wasn't even sure if this vlog would have anything of interest in it. And maybe this isn't interesting. I mean, this guy doesn't care. I care a lot. This, this guy right here, he doesn't care. Get it? That's a callback. Ugh, remember what I was saying earlier about it running over? Yeah, that's what happened. Of course, this is not as big a deal because the metal is still attached, but yeah. All right. All right. Just gotta look around for that hook. I have no idea where it would have fallen out. I knew I would regret it and I did it anyway. I was like, I should really put something else in there, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, gosh, I wonder actually if it's behind here. So since the hardware is quite dark and it's overgrown over here, I thought maybe a magnet would help. Although maybe a metal detector would be better, but I just have one of those short handheld ones and I didn't want to be crawling over the place. I could attach it to China. That would be hilarious. So I figured, you know what? This might work. Although I guess I could attach it to this. Gosh, I'm just going where I already mowed. And this is where I noticed it, where I couldn't drive forward anymore. So it should be in here, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Here it'd be easy to see, although easy to miss as well. But all in here, I have no idea. I have no idea where that hardware is. You know what? It's not that important because I'm gonna switch it anyway. <sighs> oh my gosh. Well, you know what? I guess that's okay that it's kind of broke off because I got basically everything done except for the big uh, back field, which is pretty overgrown. I'm not sure my uh, lawnmower would have been able to handle it. <laughs> good thing I got good friends. Cause I got friends with the tractors. go I fixed it again and it'll probably keep needing more and more repairs but uh, it's together I got a nice pin in there which I just made a little bit earlier it is now pinned like I used a nail but it's cotter pinned in quotations in there and I actually have the the belt in the right orientation now I didn't have this section here perfect but look it's still tight as can be so uh i probably would have been able to do this but it would not have been nearly as quick and easy without the help of ryan so thank you very much ryan for your help no 
problem. Uh, found mosquito in the eye. Found a random rubber rubber bumper. I don't know. It's off a truck or something. Or a truck trailer, maybe. Almost ran over it. Yeah. It was right underneath. Me. Like I saw it ahead of me, and then I thought it was just a piece of wood. But We're it looked always like steel. finding. It looked oh, like it kind of do- it kind of would. Yeah. We're finding stuff like this and other random stuff here all the time. And fun fact, if this is, I don't know if anyone will recognize yeah, what, what that is. But so there's screws in here, like actual screws, not bolts. Yeah. So don't know. There used to be a uh, a dude who uh, owned a trucking business, and the reason well, why this sense. is flat is because he would park and turn around here. Well, that makes sense because yeah. I, I was thinking this is off the back of a semi trailer when they back into the loading dock. This would hit the loading dock and then they stop. Right. That, yeah. That, that very well. I wouldn't be, be surprised. If anyone knows what that is, let let us know because it's curious what what we've been finding around here. But uh, thanks a lot, Ryan. It's looking really good. The tractor is badass. This looks like a cool promotional shot. <laughs> This old Ford and this old Cub Cadet. It's the yellow that makes it cohesive. This is an old Ford and this is a Cub Cadet. So they're not made by the same company or anything, but they still similar look color. similar color. The, the, the color is called the same thing. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> that tractor is very faded. It's been outdoors its whole life. It yeah, my, well. It was my neighbor's. I got off him years ago. And he got it from, didn't he get it from the county? He got it at an auction and he figures it was used to mow the ditches on the highway right. years ago. That's from the 70s, this tractor. And it runs like new. There's not a lot of hours on it. So. Well, it's awesome. I, I love it. It looks good. Like the stance with those big tires and how like that is wide they are. This is a very wide tractor. Like I can do side hills that are crazy steep in any other mower. And, and the ditch at my acreage is super dangerous right but with this it's no problem yeah no problem because it's so wide so it does it doesn't feel like you're gonna f- like flip i can't fit it on my car trailer because it would drive right over the fenders All right yeah i i'm gonna hang on to it it's been really handy i haven't used it too much the last couple of years but so it's good to get out here and work it yeah put it through its pace well i appreciate it i've actually cut grass taller than my head with this it was uh my old boss uh, he was a mechanic. He's retired now, but he bought 160 acres and he had probably about six acres that needed to be cut because he was going to build a house. And so I hauled this all the way out there and I, it was honestly over my head. It was six feet tall and it was thick and healthy. Like it would have made the best bales. Oh yeah. And he is baling it now. It's it's incredible grass. So I, I was first gear, low range, full throttle just crawling along and it, it did it it cut it so high i only use on the on the highway i don't i went on the highway once for one mile <laughs> didn't like i had to mow grass north of spruce grove and there's service roads most of the yeah, way, yeah yeah but there's one mile between range road 13 and 12 where yeah. i had to run in the ditch scare one of the most scary experiences because <laughs> this thing is so wide it's so wide so you're kind of i didn't want to go two tires in the ditch two tires in the road because then i'm bouncing Cause right it, this thing will do like i don't know how 28 miles an hour or something it'll, okay it'll go fairly quick quick for a tractor yeah so yeah low range is just for mowing i never use fourth mowing uh i use here i use second and third okay and what's this that's these are your controls to lift the what's the, the three deck? point hitch yeah. okay one of these is like a control you can set it so that it doesn't go any lower even if you push that all the way down it won't go the tool won't go all the way to the ground it'll stay up i've never really oh. messed with that this is your forward and reverse these are uh no um this is your throttle right here oh okay that's your throttle and this is the right wheel brake and that's the left wheel brake ah and this is clutch okay halfway down is engine clutch all the way down is the pto clutch okay Oh, on one pedal. That's yep. Could be confusing that was a smart at first. Idea. Yeah, I, it makes sense. But I like it. it it's. I, I added what's this. yeah? I was just gonna say, okay. what's that mirror off of? And if you keep focus, if you keep your camera on there, you'll see that it is a remote mirror too. Oh, I did dang. this because when I had to go down the road, I couldn't see behind me. 
Oh yeah. I put that on and I can line it up and it goes right under my elbow if I'm hanging on. Right, and then out the back. Like I let some, I pulled over and stopped halfway to the highway yeah. to let cars go by. I added this speed wheel. Yeah. It didn't have one when I got it, now I love it. I use both, but mainly this yeah. one. I'm I put one on my other lawnmower. <laughs> Even though like it's such stiff steering. It has a horn. <laughs> It's so quiet. Yeah, I like that horn I though. Replace it. That sounds. I was trying to get. A, I was trying to get your attention, huh? And I couldn't even hear it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is so cool. It's got such good character to it. I have a lot of memories because my good neighbor, uh, may he rest in peace, um, Bert. He was like another grandfather to my kids, and he's oh, like my best friend. For that's cool. Years. Sadly, he got dementia and uh, things were just never the same for him. But before he got really sick, he came up to me one day and he said, hey, can you cut this one acre of grass by my house? You can use this tractor. And we made a deal on it. And so I got it from him and I, I said, I'll mow your grass for the rest of your life. So oh, okay. I literally did. That's cool. So he just asked for some help and then that's how you ended that's up. That's how we, I came up. Yeah, he, he said, I can't drive it anymore. Like, you know, he just couldn't shift, like his mind was not the same. He sure. He knew it was going. So. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. What is this back wheel made out of? I think it's a fabric. Just Actually. like fabric, yeah. Just, I don't know how they put that together, but yeah, kind of cool. That's interesting. Oh, okay, I thought I saw food. No, I thought I saw something fly out. I think when I was going over that dirt pile, there's yeah. chunks of dirt fly out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it is quite a bit flatter than it was. Yeah. I was worried what might be under there, but I guess... Now, you, now it'll just look like the rest of the lawn after a while. It'll yeah, grass. just keep running it over. Yeah, I'm actually going to get uh, Steve to build our... Uh... He could scrape that with the bucket. Yeah, yeah, so when he's here, he's going to dig a hole here for our root cellar. Right. And then there's going to be a tunnel here that goes all the way to the house. Whoa. To our, to our cold storage. <laughs> You're going to build some kind of... Hand crank. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. I just want a tunnel because I, I just, I don't know. It's cool. Why would I not want a tunnel, you know? You watch The Great Escape? You seen the movie? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, it's about these guys that escaped. It's a, based on a true story. Um, Steve McQueen's in it. It's from the 60s. James Garner. Okay. It's a big movie. They were in a prisoner war camp and they dug tunnels to get out. It, there was actually, I read the actual book was mainly Canadians and, and British that dug this tunnel. The, the movie is very Americanized, but okay. whatever it is. Yeah. Um, cool story. They dug, I don't know how far, and they got out. I don't know. I got to watch that maybe for some inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna, I got to dig that probably a lot by hand. But uh, the big hole How that's here. Dig a trench and then roof it. Yeah, that's essentially oh, that what, what I'm going to do, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to do, like, walls Absolutely. that are, like, brick or something. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'll put a roof, something that you can drive on. Not that I would drive on it intentionally, but something that will be able to stand the weight. Yeah. Uh, you know, snow, Check vehicle. Yeah, so, some. Because yeah. they're fairly wide, too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I've had anything crazy happen. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> When I got this tractor, uh, I used it to cut Bert's grass a couple times, and it was fine, no issues. And then one day I started it up, and uh, there's something wrong with the clutch. And basically, the clutch was was you'd step on the pedal and it had no effect. It was always engaged. Hmm. I operated this tractor for like two years doing that, and one day I had to cut grass uh, in the subdivision next to here. There was a a deaf family there and okay they, they needed their grass cut so i had to cross the highway with no clutch and after doing that maybe the second time it really scared me it was really stupid <laughs> you had to start it in gear no i could start it in neutral slam it into gear and it would take off <laughs> did you did you uh did you leave the ground with the front end or no uh, with the weights on it not so much without the weights it would yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then I had to split the tractor in half. I'd never split a tractor. It's a big job. And I did it. Basically a big, two huge floor jacks and my chain hoist from the ceiling in the garage. 
you separate the tractor to get at the clutch. Here I had a brand new clutch, brand new. One little cotter pin had fallen out of place. Oh, that's so what I happened to me the... with this stupid thing and the deck falling off. But I yours is probably a little more consequential. I bought $2 worth of stainless steel cotter pins and uh -huh. replaced all of them, put it back, and I haven't, haven't had a problem since. Oh, good. I don't know, I haven't done a lot to this. Other than that clutch thing. This is a little <laughs> toolbox. toolbox. Yeah. And then Bert, his little dog, used to sit up in this uh, box here. His little dog would sit here when he was Oh, that's back. cute. Yeah. But yeah, I just top off the fluids and go. Oh, you got a real big blood sucker on your neck. Oh, no, he got away. Oh, evil. He got at least a vial of blood, He's man. All the babies now. <laughs> Well guys, if you would like to see more cool, not necessarily tractors, but cool vehicles in general, head on over to Ryan's channel. I'll have all that in the description. I highly recommend, as I always do, the Going North series where you took an old car all the way to Alaska, so many adventures, through the forest fires, saw a wolf, here, here's a piece of like going north trivia for you going north fans. This shirt is uh, Temsco Helicopters in Alaska. This is the helicopter company that flew Justin and I to the bus and back. Okay. Um, we were prepared. It was about $1,200 each for us to pay for that those flights. But Justin was smart. He swung a deal with them. And we gave them our footage of the bus. They gave us the ride for free. Awesome. So we yeah. didn't even have to pay for it. I'm t that trip was so amazing. I'm always thinking about it. I'm reminded about it all the time. I, I It was a highlight of my life, absolutely. So Ho yeah, check out Going North if you haven't seen it. It was a blast. Yeah, hopefully uh, you get some new viewers on there because it is, it, it really is a good series. Uh, so I'll have a link directly to that playlist on Ryan's channel. Uh, but once again, thank you so much You're for welcome. your help because that, yeah, that made very short work of it. And it actually was kind of fun, like going behind, getting the mohawks and stuff. That worked out good. Yeah. 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 That worked out really well. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. That was great. Now I just have to see what's going to go wrong next on here. So, yeah. So where my acreage is, he used to own the whole 80 acres. Oh, really? And then he subdivided. Oh, okay. So then people would build houses. And yeah. he kept most of the lots to himself for quite a while. And whenever he needed some money, because he was retired, yeah. he'd sell a lot. So he had to cut all the grass out there with this unit. Okay. And so he'd just leave it off in the field. And we all saw it. Oh, there's Bert's tractor. Right, yeah. Right? And one time he parked it next to somebody's house, but not on their property. And I guess in the middle of the night, that thing started going off, the backup alarm. Oh Just man. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> so he gets this phone call from that guy at two or three in the morning, goes, look, I just ripped the wires off your tractor because <laughs> it was driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious.